Hey guys, it's Hope Said It with another hair video for you. It's been a while since I said that, hair video. Well, I haven't updated a hair, um, well, I haven't given a hair update uh, for like a year and a half. It's been a year and a half since we last met, so welcome back. Um, brief summation of who the heck Hope Said It is. I started years, 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 like nine, 10 years ago with Tex Lax hair. I stopped Tex Lax in my hair, went natural. Um, you know, had kids, life happened, blah, 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 blah. And now I'm back <laughs> sharing about my natural hair journey. My goal is to reach waist length or butt length or knee thigh length. I don't care, just grow the healthiest head of hair I can grow. I was, oh so close. And then I had a hair setback. Um, I, you know, because of stress and blah, 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 my dad died, uh, Corona, there's a lot of things going on, right? Um, and so I lost about six or seven inches of hair. I'll show you the sad, sad picture here. Let's not focus on that, okay? We're talking about progression, we're talking about growth. So this video I'm gonna talk about kinda how to bounce back from a setback. I'm gonna update you with the regimen that, regimen that I use now. And I'm just gonna, you know, retwist my hair with ya, okay? Um, it's a lot. I have, I don't know the last time I retwisted my hair. It's probably been about four weeks or something. So it's past due, okay? So now it's like crinkly. That's when you know it's time to redo it. It's all crinkly and stuff. Um, not as crinkly as it could be actually, but shush, listen, it's been hay before. Oh, look at me. Do I have a, have a Bible pen? There's a bobby pen in here somewhere. So let's do a hair update. Uh, my hair has been doing good. You know, uh, as you can see, it's, it's grown from the last time for sure. Uh, you know, uh, the thickness is getting there. You can see that it kind of, the only thing I hate is, that, oh, can you see it? Okay. The only thing I hate is that, you know, you can see it taper down. So this is like what, 23, 2023, 2022, <laughs> 2021, 2020. You know, like the, the crap part is the oldest, but you know, like right here is when I got my life together. I gave my life back to Christ around this length. People have asked like, what's your method for retwisting? Oh my gosh. First of all, I have no method. I, I don't even part it with a comb, okay? I, 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 in the front, I will part this area, you know, with a comb. But all around, I'm just using my fingers. And at this time, uh, it's the same parts that I've used from the last time. So I literally am just taking one down, retwisting it, put it back up, you know? So that's what I do. Oh, what else do I have to tell you guys? I feel like it's been forever. So I'm just like, what, what else, what else? So let's get to it. I'm just gonna do my hair and uh, you know, I'm, you're not gonna stay on for the whole time. It takes me about three hours to get all of this done as I softly detangle, gently detangle, whatever, um, my hair. So you're not gonna be with me the whole time. I'll probably, I'll say what I gotta say and pop off and then pop back on when I'm done to show you, you know, what's up. But I do kind of just want to give length check updates in the meantime, with, like with the strands I can. I'm going to be hopefully getting a silk press this December. It's like the first time in two years that I have. So we'll see for sure what it is straightened and trimmed. But um, for now, it's just uh, what it is. Do I have to trim? I probably, it would probably do me good to trim or something. I might just cut the ends, uh, you know, cause that's what I've been doing. The old ends, I just been like taking off a little by little. So technically if I kept everything, it'd be longer, but oh Lord, it'd be so straggly and see-through. So, you know, I'm trying, child. I'm trying to cut, cut. Cut it, cut, cut. So let's get to my updated hair regimen. I'll talk about the setback and mindset and all that as I'm retwisting, but I really just want to get into um, this because it takes me three hours and I'm not trying to stay up forever. So um, first thing to do when you're retwisting your hair, you want to make sure um, you don't have snags. I know this is weird, but you want to make sure you don't have like snags and jagged nails, okay? Because I detangle with my fingers, okay? I don't use a comb. I know that's weird, yada, yada, yada. But I really think that actually um, contributed to my setback last time. I mean, I was using a comb like, oh, let me use a damn way. And I never use a brush, you know, but I decided to because I just forgot to stick to the rivers of the lake. So um, I was using a damn and did that. My hair's not used to that. It's used to my hands. 
my fingers, okay? And it's real kinky. So, you know, a demon would probably yanking it out anyway. I don't know. Maybe I wasn't gentle enough. I don't know. I'm just saying, make sure you have no snags or anything on your nails um, because I'll be finger detangling it. Um, get all your products out. I still use the Lock Moisture Method. It is tried and true. Lock Moisture me Method, L-O-C. L is for liquid. O is for oil. C is for cream. So be sure um, to do that as well. You can do LCO method, whether you have the liquid and then the cream and then the oil to seal it all in. But really, it's just a layered approach, especially for our kinky -er type of hair. Um, so let me tell you what I do. I make sure I don't have any, you know, snags or anything on my nails. This don't, see, that's why I gotta listen. Don't look at me, listen. This is not that, <laughs> okay, this, um, there's nothing wrong with this. I, you know, in my past videos, I did use Hawaiian Silky, the other versions of it. This is like some special apple cider vinegar leave-in conditioner, I don't know, but this is not what's in it. This is pure aloe vera juice, okay? It's just that my other bottle, uh, it's not spraying, it's broken. So it doesn't spray anymore and that's not cool. But um, I used to keep my aloe vera juice in that. Didn't feel like buying another cool spray bottle. So I just used an old bottle. Um, but don't look at this and say, ooh, Hope said it told me to get this. I did not tell you to get this. I said aloe vera juice, 100% aloe vera juice. Everything I say, I'm gonna link below, okay? So I'm gonna have links to it, don't worry. But um, you gotta read and listen. Don't just be looking and not paying attention. Uh, aloe vera juice. That's the L, so I take a twist, saturate it with that L, okay? And excuse the earbuds, but I am in the bathroom. <coughs> oh, crap, aloe, aloe vera juice. You know, if you inhale it, it uh, chokes your lungs a little. But anyways, um, I'm in the bathroom, and the audio for, obviously, for a bathroom is echoey. And so without these, or a microphone of some type, it would have been very um, uh, echoey. And I don't. I just wanted to make sure y'all could hear me. I mean, it's been a year and a half. Can you hear me? Okay, that's what I wanna know. Um, so this is um, the L, aloe vera juice, 100% aloe vera juice. Very cheap, it doesn't cost much. And then I'm just gently from the bottom up, maybe that wasn't as gently, but either way, I'm just untwisting it. And that's it, I'm untwisting it and then I'm detangling it, okay? Not too much, because you just put the L. You're waiting for the effects of the O and the C to really melt these knots. So, and like I said, I detangle with my fingers, okay? And I have a, um, a trash bag, y'all can't see, but I rip open a trash bag on both sides, so it's just like a, a rectangle tarp on the ground. So when I do this, so when you see me like putting my hair on the floor, I'm not putting it on the bathroom floor, I'm putting it on the tarp so I can just roll it up and throw my, you know, shed hair away. So here's where we are. This is just the L though, okay? Make sure you baby those in. Like I said, these are some 2020 ends, okay? These are some young, I mean, these are some old, old elderly ends, okay? So you can't just do the young things. Their knees and hips don't work like it used to, okay? So you get this, what else is next? I do lock, so oil is next. Okay, so for oil, there's a lot of stuff you can use. Great oil, I don't, I'm not your coconut oil girl, okay? If you're like, shea butter for me, that's for you, not for me. I do not use coconut oil, uh, shea butter, olive oil, those are heavy for my hair, okay? I don't need all of that, you would think, cause my hair is quite kinky, but I don't need all of that. Uh, for my hair, I really, if I wanna go like, you know, just organic organic, it's gonna be jojoba oil, avocado oil, argan oil, um, grapeseed oil is great because you can just get 100% grapeseed oil at uh, Walmart. But um, yeah, or what do I have? I have Canvas Beauty uh, argan oil, like I said, but I also have their like drench oil or something like that. It's just whatever oil. There's juices and botanics, the drip. That's a good oil. And all of these other oils that I'm naming, the one with brands, they like have a mixture of oils already. So if I didn't have this, I would just do straight, 
you know, grapeseed or whatever oil. But you know, these have like all natural mixes with different oils all together in it. So that's good as well. Right now, I just feel like argan oil, 100% argan oil. So that's what I'm gonna use on this. Just put it in your hand. I'm sorry, they're like, I'm looking at you here, but then I'm making sure I can, you know, I'm framed correctly here. So I'm looking all over the place, forgive me. But my attention is all on you. Do not you worry. Um, so yeah, see, you see the oil kind of, ooh, slides it through, right? Ooh, slide it through. Ooh, slide it through. So that's what we're doing. Okay. And make sure you get, I mean, listen, I'm finger detangling, so you're going to feel every nook and cranny. And you really need to make sure that you get in there and detangle everything. Because if not, you're just going to end up with some locks in your hair. You're going to have some maddedness. And it's going to be a nightmare um, whenever you actually do try to fully detangle with a brush. I'm not saying I'm anti-brushing comb. I only... Like maybe in December is probably the first time I'm gonna use it with a silk press. Otherwise, I don't do it. So we got that O, right? L, a liquid, okay? And like I said, olive oil juice is fine. Really water is fine, guys. But um, those extra aloe vera juice, other things you could find, that just helps, right? Um, juices and botanics, they have a water spray, uh, like our, rice water infused spritz as well. I know Canvas Beauty has um, their detangler as well, the leave-in conditioner mist. Um, those could be good L's as well. I use that sometimes, I go back and forth, but tried and true is 100% aloe vera juice. Let me tell you something about buying online though. Um, you know, sometimes they're sold out. <laughs> so I'm telling you what you can get at the store if you have time to stock up, get the ones online, but yeah. So look, look at this hair, look at this hair. So you see, you see where it is, right? Ah, right there. That's really where it's like, womp, womp. But before then, listen, in my last video, the damage was like right here, like right at the top. Now it grew out, right? And you know, womp, womp, these ends are whack. So I'll just trim a little of that off, but I mean, <laughs> like this camera angle stuff this little one man show stuff is for the birds so I'm like right here but I won't be after my trim but still you know I'm progressing along I'm okay with the growth I mean my goodness it's been two years correct so better have done something but you know just chugging along with my growth um we did the L we did the O it's time for the C for the C there's a couple things I could use. Hold on. So I have this one. Juices, juices, can I talk? Juices and Botanics um, Hydro Cream. That's a good one. Or you can use um, the Canvas Cream de la Cream. Is that what it's called? Full Bloom Leave-In Conditioning Creme de la Creme? I don't know. Either way, this looking bottle. And then this one from Juices and Canvas. Like, just use something, okay? Use something juicy. I want to save this one because I didn't open the juices and botanics yet. So I'm going to finish this one. But I use creams that are rich and that don't have horrible things in it. <laughs> Sounds easy enough. Don't have horrible things. Aloe vera juice is one of the ingredients. Okay, that's probably why I like it. Um, goodness, can I read though? Infused with rosemary, yada, 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 sunflower. It's just light. It's light and good, and you can read the ingredients. Same thing with juices and botanics. You can read the ingredients. It's all good stuff. You know why each, um, each ingredient is in there. So it's good. It's good. Okay, so like I said, I'll link. I'll link the products in there, too. Make sure you get all these knots. But every layer that happens, you do the O. I mean, you do the L. Okay, that's loosening it up. You do the O, okay, that locked it in a little. You do the C on top or whatever, uh, whichever version you're doing, if you're doing LCO, any next layer you do, it'll be like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Now don't do too much, now don't be all heavy handed. Then it'll just feel like, hey, so you gotta just get the right amount. You gotta know what moisture feels like in your hair. A lot of people don't know what moisturized hair feel like. They say, oh, my hair is soft. It's just sheen. 
it's not soft. You don't put grease in your hair and be like, oh baby, my hair is soft. Mm, not really. It's just like fake sheen. Uh, I know what moisture feels like. It might not necessarily be shiny, but it'll be soft and pliable. You like that? Pliable. Able to be moved, elastic, all that good stuff. Um, so I have about 17 twists in my hair and I do this for each one. I saw a lot of videos of people who have micro twists and it made me very jelly. And I want to do micro, micro, oh sorry, what mini twists. I'm talking about micro braids. Uh, I saw people who had mini twists and I wanna do them, but I'm lazy. So if I can barely get to these 17 twists, Lord help me if I even try to split that in two. Okay, so that is this, you can see. So let's examine this one strand. Um, yes, we're like right here, solid, right? You would agree? We're good, 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 good. Ah, and then like right here is probably where we need to end it. But I'm holding on for dear life. We'll see. I'm just trying to get to this length. By the end of the year, I'm going to be at this length, but with this much thickness all the way down. We'll see. You know, I still have time. I still have time. So we'll see what happens. Make sure you take care of those ends. I'll actually put a little extra oil on the ends because those ends, boy, those will split and tangle and snaggle in a heartbeat. You got to make sure you're taking care of those ends. That's very important for um, hair maintenance. And I'll go over towards the end, kind of the six things that help me recover from a setback. But let me see, let me see. It's going through. I'm not trying to rush you, you know. I feel like I'm trying to rush you because I'm like, hurry up, you know. I'm recording, hurry up. But really, I take my time every, ooh, see, ooh, if I didn't, if I didn't uh, take my time, I wouldn't have caught that not <laughs> about to happen. And obviously, some of you are just gonna be like, girl, just take a brush. If you brush your hair, then do that. Um, but I don't, I finger comb, and I think that really works for me. There's not enough people on here talking about 100% finger combing. They like finger comb, and then, you know, go in the shower and use a shower brush or go and mm -mm. I'm talking about 100% finger comb throughout the year. A brush does not touch my head, but a couple times a year. What have I been doing to grow my hair? This twist, keep it in for three, four, lazy, five weeks, whatever. And then I retwist like I'm showing you. That's what I've been doing literally for almost two years. Has it been almost two years? Yes, almost two years. That's it. Twisting will grow your hair, y'all, okay? And it's not necessarily twisting, it's the fact that um, you're leaving it alone. You're leaving your hair alone. It's an acute-ish style, child. So, <laughs> I got used to it, but at the beginning, I was like, child, I don't want these twists in my head. Um, you're leaving it alone, it's low manipulation. I don't even leave my twists down, okay? I put them up, so. That's that. Um, see, I keep on catching these. Anytime I catch a knot, I'm gonna stop and take it out. Cause if you don't catch it, it's gonna be compiled and compiled and it could turn into breakage. So, and then you just take it and twist it up. Make sure that base is pretty tight, not too tight, but tight enough so that it's not, you know, all loose. Oh, it's like retightening locks. <laughs> Okay, so you go ahead and twist it all the way down. It doesn't have to be too tight. Twist, twist, and then it's gonna get real sad, pathetic, y'all. Don't be in these comments talking about me. I just had a setback, forgive me. <laughs> Not just, it's been like two years, but still. I'm like, don't be talking about me. I'm, I'm putting it out there already, so you can't be in here talking about, oh, but her ends are so, listen, I came a long way. So what I'm gonna do, and this is what I'll do for all of them. Like I said, it's 17, but y'all only gotta see a couple to get the point. When I get a silk press, there is a professional trim happening. So in this instance, I'm just gonna take, you know, nothing special. But you know, that, that helped a little. It's not all scraggly, it's just, at least it's more even. So we have this, oh my gosh. This, let's get in the frame, okay. Okay, so, um, yeah, that's one. 
Oh, one of the 17. Now, class, can you tell me what letter this one is? L. And L stands for liquid. Okay. I hope you said that <laughs> as you're watching. I hope you answered the question so you can be as weird as I am. So L and what comes after L? See, this time I didn't untwist with just the L. Sometimes I put the, the O on top of the twist. I don't have to just untwist to use O. So I untwist it from the bottom. You have to be careful for the body. You don't want to start ripping. Do your hair when you have time and you're patient. I don't, I'm not necessarily patient right now, <laughs> but I needed to do this video. Um, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna abuse my hair or anything like that, but just do it when you know you can take your time because then you're gonna rip through your head. You're gonna be all mad. You didn't show your hair love. But since you guys are here and holding me accountable, I will show my hair love. And obviously it was still in a twist. So you got those innards that are not all the way moisturized. And you can wash your hair in twists. If you're a person who has twists um, and you know that if water gets on it, it's gonna just mat up like this, then never mind. You know, um, at least detangle and then twist it again. But sometimes you can, you know, even wash it in the twist before you take it down. Uh, so just know that, yeah, you can wash your hair in twists. And that's actually the easiest part for me. Just wash it in twists, stop it. I uh, uh, go to the backyard and use a hose. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Because I don't want to, I don't like hair in the shower and things like that. Cannot stand that. I don't know why that's such a pet peeve of mine. But um, yeah, so I'll just go to the backyard. I don't know if the neighbors have seen me yet, but yeah, I'll just go in the back with the hose and wash my hair. So this is still detangling. We didn't even get to the seat, y'all. And I might put a little more O on this, but you know, you just gotta, you guys gotta click, especially that nape with the nape area. Cannot stand doing uh, detangling the nape because it's just it's tender. It's tender hair back there or tender skin back there. Okay. So after I do this one, I'll probably um, bid you adieu, <laughs> and then I will come back and talk about how oh how. <laughs> I don't know how y'all be doing hair and then get ready with me and then story time. How can you focus? Um, but anyway, I'll probably come back and tell you about the six mindsets I had, what I changed both in my diet and everything, because hair is not only about external. People get a setback and they just think, okay, well, what products do I need? I'm gonna use this. Um, I'm gonna start, you know, wearing my hair like this. I'm gonna get this weave. I'm gonna do That's great and that helps but your hair is made out of protein. Your hair has bonds in it, okay? So you have to make sure it's fortifying it, that your nutrition is enhancing it, you know, um, and stuff like that. You know, I'm no nutritionist, but I'm not a ghoul. <laughs> a couple credible sources. Um, so yeah, that was um, a lot. See, now you know why it takes like three hours. This is just number two, y'all. This is my second twist. Help me, Father. Well, this is very obvious, right? You you can absolutely see where the damage and everything is. But I like the fact that even though you know it's it gets sad at the end, I like the fact that the hair that's growing is thicker, uh, it's stronger, and it has gotten longer than <laughs> bars. So even if it's cut right here, I mean, it's not ideal, but okay, no. Can y'all see it? Okay. I'm just babying until, <sighs> babying until, you know, a professional trim. At the end of the day, and I know people hate to hear this, there is a lot of things going on in life. Um, and if hair is the worst thing that happened to you, count your blessings, okay? <laughs> but like I said, I get it, you know? You're still like, well, it's a setback. It means a lot to me, I know, but don't stay in that area. Don't stay in that mindset. So let me tell you about the six things that help me get back on track, okay? 
Uh, and y'all see, I'm just, you know, as the Lord leads, I just add more product to my hair. <laughs> I feel the hair and I say, hmm, it needs more L, it needs whatever. But once I put that C in, it's a wrap. Once I put that C in, I'm not gonna go back with anything else usually. Cause it's thick, it locks everything in, bam. Um, but anyway, so the six things that helped me with my hair set back. First of all, I prayed, okay? I know I say that and people are just like, ooh, 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 whatever. But I did, and it wasn't a prayer of, Lord, you know, make me have hair like Pocahontas by next week, you know? Uh, but if he wants to do it, I'm not stopping him. It wasn't that, it was just, you know, listen, the Bible says, don't worry about anything, but with everything, take it to the Lord. So uh, I took it to the Lord. I said, I'm not gonna worry about this hair. You're the one that gave it to me. The Lord giveth, I just taught my kids this. The Lord giveth and take it away. Well, guess what? He took the hair away. <laughs> but he's gonna give it back to me double. Hello, amen. So, you know, I just had to learn. When you get something taken away, you learn. You learn, you know, so I will never, I have a lot of things I will never do again. I'll, um, you know, talk about that later. But either way, pray this is the first thing I had to do. I had to pray. I had peace. I said, okay, suck it up. <sighs> it's going to be a long road. Cause I mean, you know, hair does not grow that fast. Like on a good year, you will grow six inches or eight or something, you know, but even if it's six inches, you know, if you talk about your whole head, you still need two, three years. After prayer and getting peace about it, um, I had to change my mindset. You know, prayer helped me change my mindset, but I had to change my mindset. I was like, it's fine, it's okay, it's just hair, it will grow. And y'all see how long I'm taking with this one, <laughs> one twist. That's why it takes me three hours. I literally just go through it. Anyway, so I was like, it's fine, it's hair, it will grow. It's fine, it's hair, it will grow. I researched some stuff, hey, you know, and I knew this stuff already, but for some reason, I just, you know, you forget. You get so used to it, you may be taking for granted. So I was like, okay, low manipulation styles, make sure I'm not using an elastic band for like no reason and stuff like that, you know, stuff like that. Uh, stuff that would be common sense, but you know, if you're desperate, you gonna look at desperate stuff. So um, get my mind right, know that I can do it. I was like, girl, give me two years, I'll be back probably three but yeah i'll be back don't worry i got this a watch pot never boils so um i'll just do what i know i need to do and then move on okay so after prayer after getting in the right mindset i had to um get to the root cause first of all what the heck how did i lose six or seven inches that's what i want to know you know and i had to just think to myself and say huh what was it? Uh, now, as I reflect, I can be like, well, it wasn't. My diet sure didn't help. Obviously, the stress didn't help. Uh, my uh, brushing practices did not help. All these things I already knew, right? I didn't really moisturize my hair. I was just putting it in a crusty little bun because I was too lazy. Um, I wasn't detangling around with a moisturizer. Oh, everything. Everything I teach, I just said no. I guess Corona just got to my mind, child. <laughs> um, I didn't even have it, but I don't know. I guess the craziness surrounding it made me forget everything that I teach about, okay? Isn't that crazy? I had to realize that it was my diet. I wasn't drinking enough water, my exercise, my products, making sure I just stuck to the basics and not try to be a product junkie. Cause you will turn into a product junkie real easy. After a setback, oh yeah, you are gonna go right back to your mane and tail days. <laughs> Be like, ain't that what the forums said? Remember when there were forums? There wasn't like YouTube like that, but you went to those hair forums, child, and they will sell you a bill of goods. They'll be like, oh yeah, this new product. They use it for antelopes, but it is good with black hair especially. And one thing I have included, and I'll uh, uh, include a link or something about this, is fenugreek tea. And I'm not one, y'all know I don't hop on a gimme. You're not gonna get me to be your guinea pig. I'll say what? Um, so I'm not going to hop on, you know, random things, but, um, if y'all don't know about her, there is a YouTuber named Curly Hair Crisis, I think her name is, I'll link her, and, you know, beautiful hair, she had hair thick, waist length, had a catastrophe, and it cut off, 
But she remembered that fenugreek is why her hair was growing and got to waist length. So I researched about fenugreek because, you know, I'm not just going to take her word for it, y'all. But I researched it, saw her results, and saw that, you know, what is it called? Ayurvedic? Ayurvedic? Uh, maybe I'm butchering that word. But those um, Indian spices, you know, Indian people got great healthy hair. You can either get fenugreek seeds. Fenugreek helps with like the strength of your hair, helping you retain the growth, um, you know, fortifying the strands. It just really is, I feel like an inside out type thing for your hair and skin and nails, you know, but you know, I'm doing it for the hair. Um, I see my nails are getting better. Um, and my skin may be, maybe my skin's getting better, I don't know. But um, uh, mostly for the hair, maybe that's why it's, you know, it grew thicker. I don't know, guys. But I know that um, it probably has an effect. Let me let me wait till December to let you know if it's working, working. But at least um, on the health benefit, benefit side of things, you know, I think it, it just fortifies, A, your immune system, and then A, you know, B, your hair. So fenugreek is what I have been uh, drinking every morning. I drink fenugreek tea and all you have to do is get the seeds and literally just put some hot water, like get two tablespoons of the seeds in a jar, put some hot water in the jar, let it sit for like two to four hours and drink it. Now, I'm not saying it tastes good, okay? But uh, if, you, if you know what the end goal needs to be, then I think you'll suck it up. I got a little knot in here. I've been here for a while because I have, this is not untwisting like I needed to. Let's watch. There we go. And also the hair, uh, curly hair crisis, she also sells fenugreek powder that's more palatable, I think. It's like um, like lemon flavor and ginger lemon flavor. Um, I've tasted those as well. It's good. I have those packets. I tasted both flavors. I have the ginger, I have the lemon ginger. I tasted the regular seeds, like listen. Fenugreek me, please. I don't need now one more product in my hair, okay? I'm talking about internally ingesting, okay? So that's what I do. I drink fenugreek tea every morning. Um, yeah, every morning. That's the first thing I eat because I also intermittent fast, and that's, that's a whole nother conversation for another day, but I eat from 11 to 7. The first thing I'm going to have <clears throat> of the day is going to be my hot fenugreek tea. Number four... Um, I already kind of touched on it, but stick to the basics. You start Googling and those little algorithm gods, they going to find you and they going to put every little hair growth gimmicky product on your timeline. Okay. And that's going to look very enticing and you're going to think it's God speaking. No, it's big brother. So you just need to know like, Hey, don't go for all these little ads you see of people who say, I just grew my bald spot in two days. You know, that's just keep your sense about you. I know you want to feel good, you know, and all that good stuff, but stick to the basics. Know, okay, what are my red, what are my products? You shouldn't have that many products in your arsenal. You should have like, okay, what's your shampoo? What's your conditioner? What's your moisturizer? What's your uh, leave-in conditioner? What's your oil? That's it. <laughs> you might have a detangler to add in there, but I mean, with the styles I do, which I really don't do styles um, like that, I, you don't need that much. Y'all don't want too much. You don't need that much. Keep it simple. I promise you. Keep it simple and stay with the basics. And that takes me to number five, which is stay consistent. Just like working out, it's not going to be two days. You know, you go to the gym for two days, a week, two weeks straight. You're not going to be that chiseled, you know? Things are working on the inside that you probably, you know, can't see, but you're not going to really see results. Same thing with hair. You can be on top of it. You can drink your fenugreek, exercise, water, all that stuff for a whole month, and you'll be like, this ain't working. <laughs> but it is. Just don't focus solely on that, okay? You have to be consistent. It will happen. I mean, look at where I was. I literally, if I were doing this part two years ago, see, it's kind of... It doesn't even have that much of snaggly ends like my other one. But anyway, if I was doing this uh, part a year ago, this section, oh, I had stragglies all the way up to here. Like, look, it's coming back. 
And I think it's coming back because I'm focused, okay? I'm focused, I know what to do. And I'm using good practices and helping other people along the way, okay? Y'all see me do an L? I don't know, y'all. Y'all doing O already? Oh, Lord. That's why you don't talk and not talk and chew gum and think. Okay, number six, enjoy the journey. Uh, you're not gonna enjoy the first couple months, not gonna lie. <laughs> okay, it's like growing out locks. You're gonna have that ugly stage in the beginning. You're gonna be like, oh my gosh, look at this dingly piece up here. Oh my gosh, like, look at this. Look, it's so short. No, seriously, it's so short. Once you get into the groove of your routine, enjoy it. Set benchmarks and celebrate it. Say, oh, I reach chin length. Oh my goodness, I reach shoulder length. Oh my gosh, I read whatever. Enjoy it because it's very easy to be like, oh, I want to be waist length and you're not going to be satisfied until you're waist length, but then you're not enjoying it. And by the time you hit waist length, you'll be, waist length, you'll be like, oh, okay, whatever. Well, you didn't have fun during that time. You shouldn't be miserable until you reach your goal. You should take that time to learn, grow, and help others. Okay. Uh, make sure you know about your hair. What's your hair porosity? What products do you like? Do you need more moisture, more protein? What's up? Um, those are separate videos. This is getting way too long anyway, <laughs> but uh, we'll just dive in into the more science of hair later. I cannot wait <laughs> until December where I reevaluate and see if I'm doing twists. Cause I, to tell you the truth, I don't really like twists that much, okay? It has become me cause I have done it for two years. But I don't really care for twists um on me okay and uh, we'll just see where that goes and what i do with it but i will say that twists will grow your hair twists will grow your hair not because it's a magic something it's because you're literally leaving your hair alone and leaving it in a detangled state you know if i just did a bun like i did before like i just wore a bun and just that's it and said so it's low manipulation mm, yeah it is but your hair is also getting tangled and matted up and all that good stuff but at least with this i can set it and forget it i can leave my hair alone and even if i get a little lazy and take it down a week later um it'll still be good as long as i you know saturate it and use my lock moisture method to take it down like i'm doing here lord this is only four no this is three only three twists y'all how much time has passed? Three twists. This is why it's taking me forever. I think it's because of this dang video. So I actually need to go <laughs> and finish up. But I did want to get on here and just let you know, A, what my regimen was, B, how I um, recovered from my setback, the, the six things that kind of got me on track. And then, you know, see a little length check. I know, uh, you know, kind of full length check, but you get the point. It's not like my hair is all ragged, tagged, uneven. So you see where it is. Um, like I said, I'll get a professional trim in December. But um, now, let me go ahead and finish up and then I'll come back when I'm done. Whew. I'm back. Greasy face and all. I am back. Um, but my hair is done. <laughs> you can see. And it, it doesn't stay stretched out. Like, it's gonna bounce back. The ends, as you can see, you know, some of it is a little thin still. I'm trying to find where you can find me. You see this? Some of it is a little, um, you know, still a little uh, stringy, but here is the final effect. Here it is. Um, what happens is my hair very much uh, swells, you know? So right now it's gonna be a little stringy. And then as time goes, it's gonna swell. Um, I don't know, my hair just holds density like that, I don't know. And then um, as it dries up and gets, you know, not moisturized, it's gonna crinkle. <laughs> so it kind of is like a, a blooming flower and then it crinkles as it gets dry and nasty. So that's my cycle and when I know that I need to re-moisturize. But you, I don't know if it looks like this on camera, but my hair is, um, it's moisturized, it's nice. And the lock moisture method really set things in. You can see my parts. Uh, you know, they're not very crisp because I, I, I did everything by hand, but yeah, the same about 17 twists, 
It took about three hours to do gel because I'm finger detailing. One of uh, my lovely subscribers asked for a tutorial of how I put my hair in a bun. It's so anticlimactic, seriously. I just, I mean, I use bobby pins for everything. I'll use whatever is around me. But after this, because like I said, I don't wear my hair down. What I'm going to do is just put it up. Oh, I guess it would work if you could see behind me. So let me do that. I don't even know if y'all can see me, but hopefully just, and hold on, we can, yeah, yeah. Turn it around, like do something like this, child. Just make sure the ends are tucked, is what you need to do. Make sure those ends are tucked. Get bobby pin number one. This is why, I mean, listen, I always got a bobby pin hidden in my head somewhere. But, and I don't know how the back looks. I mean, that's not my business. I'm just trying to tuck my ends. So, you know, this is it. I had, you know, probably this down or something, but we don't have time for that. We're trying to, I don't know why I keep on looking here, sorry. But we're trying to uh, grow our hair. Last thing before I go, um, you can see my sides. I'll do an update specifically for my sides. I guess you can't see my sides. Um, you know, uh, progress. Um, I don't slick them. I'm sure if I slick them and did that whole Shoop, 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 baby hair thing that y'all do, um, you know, I have the capacity to do that. I just don't. So, you know, what you're going to get is this. And it and it has grown um, in. It has some ways to go, just like the rest of my hair. But it is, it's, oh, well, child, I shouldn't have did that. Baby, can I see? Let me look at them from here. See, the problem is that I'm not able to show you what it really is because um I don't even have my oil to lay down a little bit because it's, it's kinky now so never mind but it's looking a little more sparse than it is so I'll just wait till I actually do my edges video so there you have it the regimen the updates the everything and now I'll bid you goodbye and I hope you enjoy the weekend bye I lost like this much hair and there's a little more on the floor so Ooh, I gotta go to bed Thank you.